explorers, courageous, adventurous, investigators of strange, unknown places they've never seen before. People such as... Yeah, good for us, man. And hey, how about these tires? Made of 100% patched together rubber. And get a load of these handlebar grips! Mission accomplished, sir. It was us, the Wright brothers, who built and piloted the first engine-powered airplane. Good work, boys! Dragons and serpents were among the most popular designs, like these. But other designs were tried, too. Intense wreakage! I'm really not happy. And I had such high hopes for this show. Not only did Lewis and Clark explore the Louisiana Territory, folks, and I came home to Mount Vernon and my wife Martha. Some say that all work and no play makes Montezuma a dull boy, but from the earliest times until the coming of the Spanish, my people have always enjoyed a hearty game or two, Mesoamerican style. All right, night baseball, chase the queen, threes and nines cost you a canoe and a native scout, fours are free, there's a seven inning rain out, one bite and a match pot burn at the end. And guess what, ladies? He's an Aries! Who is this Renaissance kind of guy? I'll tell you what's about show, starring one of the greatest explorers of the history in the United States presidential terms, tell you what's about, with today's special guest, Pink Heart, and the ball groom. And he is now the Trustbuster. Trustbuster makes me feel good. And today, he's the host of... Hysteria! 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 Hiya! Hysteria! And I want you to watch it. Substitutionary history with Praguna, McCoides, and a little help from me. With Praguna, McCoides, and Florence, say to On February the 1st, 1905, Gifford Pickard and Teddy Roosevelt have formed the United States Forest Service, which means Gifford and Roosevelt explores everywhere. Don't you already have clothes like that? They look familiar. <laughs> Who cares? I think he talks funny. Where's he from, anyway? Mars? Oh, thank God. I'm so glad that you come over here. I should to meet you, Mr. Roosevelt, sir. I have arrived at the United States Fall Service with you. And do you know where Mount Kennington was? Look no further, dude. You found me. I got a letter for you right here. Check it out, bro. Ed McMahon says you may already be a winner. <laughs> Stickers! Awesome! Hey, Mr. Tesla! What's this button do? I'm back. Oh, wow. And believe it or not, both Lincoln and Darwin wore shoes! <laughs> I think I got an idea. Have you considered the horse was in the forest inside? Delightful! I love those people, and I love the horse too! 828,000 square miles of North America, stretching from the Mississippi River to the Rocky Mountains! 